We head now to New York City, where opening statements began in the trial of former Marine accused of killing a homeless man on the subway last month. Prosecutors say that Jordan Neely was unarmed and acting erratically when he was placed in a chokehold for several minutes. ABC's Morgan Norwood has this report. Justice for Demonstrators erupting in a chorus of chants as opening statements in the criminal trial for Daniel Penny, the former Marine accused in the chokehold death of Jordan Neely, began this morning. Inside the courtroom, Penny seated at the defense table as prosecutors laid out their case to the jury, telling them Daniel Penny used far too much force for far too long in this incident on a New York subway last May. Penny seen here putting Neely in that chokehold that the prosecutor says Penny held him in for 51 seconds after Neely's body went limp, adding he left Mr. Neely lying on the floor unconscious and didn't look back. The defense, meanwhile, painting a different picture of Penny in their opening remarks, agreeing the struggle lasted five to six minutes, but insists the former Marine never intended to kill Neely, saying he stood up to protect thy neighbor when Jordan Neely began making threats inside the subway car. For the prosecution, they have a greater advantage because of the way the law works when it comes to self-defense, that you have to use the appropriate amount of force uh, against someone when using self-defense. After that point that uh, Jordan Neely is no longer moving, that that's where I think the law really has a damage towards uh, Daniel Penny. A police officer who was one of the first to arrive on the subway car was the first witness to take the stand today. The jury viewing that officer's body camera footage would show first responders doing CPR and officers searching for weapons. But the only thing found in Neely's pocket was a muffin. And as the trial moves forward, the family of Jordan Neely, a subway performer known for his Michael Jackson impersonations, who also struggled with his mental health, hoping this trial brings justice. I love Jordan, and I want justice for Jordan Neely. And this trial is expected to last several weeks. If convicted, Daniel Penny could face up to 20 years behind bars. Elizabeth. Morgan Norwood, thank you for that. And, of course, important to note that Daniel Penny has pleaded not guilty.